Namaste, friends, and welcome back. Good to see you all again. And I uh, just wanted to do another update vlog. We're just knocking them out recently. Had a lot of stuff going on. And the main topic in today's video is going to be about writing and just keeping you up to date with things as we're getting closer to the end of the book. I'm just getting super excited and I feel like I have lots of little things to talk about. So here we go. So last we talked, I was uh, going over a potential pen name, Hope RR Torture. And uh, I'm glad I tried on the fit. I have decided that it's not for me. Uh, it's way too edgy. I was, by the end of the first day, I was like, this, this, this is way too edgy. I'm gonna, gonna cut myself on all this edge, you know? Uh, it's not for me. I do like the name Hope RR Torture. I do think it has an artistic ring to it and I fully intend and expect that I will find a home for that phrase or concept or name or whatever it turns out to be somewhere within my creative works at some point, but it's not going to be my pen name. And I've actually come to a conclusion about what my pen name is going to be. And it's not actually going to be a pen name. It's just going to be my name. Um, I talked it over with my friends and they were in agreement. They're like, dude, E.G. Bonet is a sick name. You know, it, it, it flows. It's cool. Like just just roll with it, man. It's good. Like, why not? And I'm like, I don't really have a reason why not. So we're going to go with that. And then that was further reinforced that morning. I went over to my mom's and my grandma's place and was having a conversation with them. And they were just asking me about, hey, how's the writing going? And I was catching them up on that. And they were like, oh, by the way, did you know that your great grandpa was an author? And I was like, really? What did he write? And they brought out this. Um, the story of... J Janet Court, the story of Janet Court. And I, if I understand correctly, he was a physician, a licensed physician, and uh, writing was just kind of his side project. And his name was Glenn E. Shelley. I'll show you the cover again. Glenn E. Shelley. And my middle name is Glenn. That's what the G stands for. So Eric Glenn Bonet. And uh, I thought that was really cool and serendipitous. And it just kind of got me excited. And I was like, holy cow. I'm named for an author uh, who I am a descendant of. And, you know, I don't, I don't know how far he really went with authoring thing. I haven't looked into it too much. I've only just started reading the book. Um, but really, you know, it was just, it, it was just seemed like it, it was so perfect because it literally came right the same day, or maybe it was the following day. I can't recall. I think it was the same day that I actually changed uh, my channel name and everything to Hope RR Torture just to try it on. And it was just like, wow, that's just, it, it, it was meant to be. It was meant to be. So feeling really good about that. And I'm just like, E.G. Bonet, you know, it just, just drove it home. Just going to use my name. Keep it simple. Keep it clean. Respect great grandpa, Glenn. And uh, I'm really, really happy and stoked about that. I mentioned in the last vlog that I had just finished up George R.R. Martin's work and had a good time reading through that. Uh, very much enjoyed the Game of Thrones series and figured I'd just, in these vlogs, uh, I, one of the topics I would will start bringing up is what am I reading now and what have I just read and whatnot and just kind of making sure to, to go over that because it's, it's interesting uh, to me. And uh, what I'm working on now is the Wheel of Time series. And oh my gosh, this this freaking series. I have been trying to work through this series for a while now, and I'm talking to the tune of years. I am on book six. I want to say The Lord of Chaos, and there's like 15 books in this series, and oh my gosh, like they're, they're like the worst, best books ever. I can't even articulate. Like they're, they're so bad, and I can't stand them, Yet I enjoy them somehow. It's just like the the oh, the way he writes his characters is so bizarre. And like characters will just be hanging out with each other, and no spoilers, you know, I'll keep everything vague. Characters will just be hanging out with each other, just having normal character interactions. They're just traveling together, and then it's like, I love you, I love you too. Take my ring. Uh, we are now pledged to one another. And it's just like, what? Where did that come from? These characters have shown no interest in romance with each other whatsoever. And it's like, that's just the tip of the iceberg. There's just something about Robert Jordan's writing that just... I, I don't want to bash on the guy. You know, he, he did pass away and Brandon Sanderson took over him finishing the Wheel of Time series. And I don't want to bash on him. Like, in a lot of ways, he is a very, very good writer. Very descriptive. He built a huge, huge original world. There are just so many odd things that he does, and he'll just go on about women's dresses and, oh, the way the silk clung to her skin and her, 
Her cotton shift was was moist and damp with perspiration and the and the silk and the clinging. And it's just like, oh my God, a third of all of your insanely long books are just you talking about women's dresses. I swear, Robert, what are you doing? Ah, I, I, I can't, I can't. All I know is that for some reason, I'm still reading his books. I want to finish the series. And yet, usually as I'm reading through a series, I'll come to the conclusion of... Am I ever going to read this series again? For some reason, I feel still, even though I've rage quit his books multiple times and just been like, oh, I have to go read something else or I'm going to put my head through some fucking drywall. Um, I still feel like this is a series I'm going to revisit in the future and just slowly come back to over time. And I have fond memories of, I do this thing where when I think about particular jobs in my head, because I'm an electrician, so I go out to people's homes and often I'm remodeling them or I'm wiring a new house or something like that. And I associate the job that I did, because I'm usually there for, you know, several weeks, something like that. I get pretty, do a bit of nesting. So I associate specific jobs with the book that I'm listening to at that time. And every job that I've associated with one of Robert Jordan's books I have positive memories of it, even though the whole time I'm just cringing and just wanting to rip my face off while I listen to the books. It's, it's a very strange dichotomy. Is that the right word? I need to look that up. A division or contrast between two things that are represented as being opposed or entirely different. Fucking nailed it. I've never looked up dichotomy before and I knew what it meant. I'm good with concepts and I like that about myself. So yes, book six of the Wheel of Time series, I am chugging away. Uh, I look forward to the day when I can say, I finished, I did it, I get it. And uh, yeah, so what else is going on? Got my little post-it note here. Um, status of book one, I think that's kind of the last thing to talk about. How am I doing with book one? Well, like I said at the beginning, uh, coming up to the end is just juicing me up, getting me more motivated to move more quickly. And I was able to take yesterday off, which was a Friday, which is fantastic. Anytime I can take a full day off of work, I can safely, comfortably, joyously put an eight hour work day into writing. Um, and I got to do that and I got all the way pretty much through chapter 22. And it's looking like it's gonna be a 26 chapter book. So that's really good. And that was a chapter that needed to be written from scratch. And so I finished off the second half of that. So I wrote from scratch maybe six or seven pages yesterday and uh, just kind of polished it up. And then all this morning, I was just going through it, crossing the I's, dotting the T's, doing the fine polishing details. So in the last vlog, I had said something to the effect of there were three more chapters that I needed to write and about three more that needed to be edited. And now we're down to about two and two, which is great. Um, and just uh, looking forward to getting that work through my awesome, wonderful editor, Jason. And uh, I, we're, we're going to have this by the end of the year. You know, I, I hate making promises that I can't keep, but we're going to have this by the end of the year and we're going to be sending it out. And, I, you know, I've been giving more consideration to how am I actually going to try and get this into your hands um, so you can read it if that's something that you've been looking forward to. And I'm going to try and do digital copies. I don't know, I haven't looked anything yet into how the formatting is done, like what type of file you need to export in to be able to read a book on, let's say, a Kindle or something, make it Kindle compatible, something like that. But I'm going to try and find out the best file type and then offer digital copies for, let's say, $5 or something, $4.99 or something like that via PayPal. So, you know, you can support me a little bit. You're getting a full book out of it and it's, you know, pretty damn well polished, um, pretty damn well professionally edited, edited, and it's just going to be good. And then as for hard copies, I don't think I'm going to do a at cost hard copy, which is something that I was thinking about where it would just be the printed out story with no, no signing, no numbering or anything like that. I just don't, don't like that. It's like, if you want the hard copy, you're going to, you know, you, you got to support me a little bit because it's going to be a pain in the butt to get those all done, you know, between the printing and the shipping and the figuring out all of the, the logistics and everything. So I think it's going to be, I need to figure out what those actually cost per, per to produce. And then, but uh, it's probably, I don't think it's going to be anything more than like $25. And those will again be signed and numbered. So each one will be a unique copy and I don't expect a whole lot of people will buy them. Um, maybe there'll be a dozen in existence. So again, moving forward, um, 
those may go up in value over time as this series continues to progress. So those might be a cool thing to pick up if you're willing to throw down just a little bit of cash to help support me as an artist. And uh, I think that's really, really exciting. It's it's coming, guys. Like, it's it's coming. We are on the home stretch. The light at the end of the tunnel is like right here. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm very excited. I'm very excited if you can't tell. Feeling good. And I think that's all of the updates I had for you guys today. Maybe I'll do a cut right here and rack my brain. Oh, I did think of something else. I finally hit my target weight again. Um, I have been, uh, I, I had gotten uh, a little bit more flabby around the middle parts than I prefer to be. And uh, I was, uh, that bothers me. Um, and if that's not something that bothers you, that's totally fine. I totally respect your decision to do as you please with your own body. But me personally, I am very strict with myself. And uh, that was something that was frustrating me. And I've managed to get back to my target weight of 165 and feeling really good. I've been running seven days a week. And when my hip starts to bother me, because apparently I am an old lady, uh, I go swimming. And I found a local lake, Rollins Lake, and it is totally accessible. It's only 15 minutes from my place, which is freaking awesome. It's totally free. The water is right next to the road. It's not overly crowded or anything. And I'm like... Like, I was willing to start throwing down a significant amount of money every month to go swim at a gym. And I'm like, this is better in every conceivable metric, except that it's outside, so during the winter, it's not going to be a good option. But other than that, like, that's just, that's just huge. And uh, I also threw down on a whole bunch of new supplements. Like, I'm a bit of a, a nutrition-obsessed, nutrition elitist. I'm going to say nutrition elitist. I... <laughs> but I threw down on a whole bunch of new supplements and I'm really excited about those. Maybe I'll go into them in a different video, but this one's already getting long enough. But yeah, just feeling good, feeling healthy, feeling feeling ready for the challenges that life is going to throw at me because it always does. And you got a book coming soon. So that's exciting. All right. I think it's time to end it there. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Fantastic to see you. A proper beard heart for you. And uh, I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.